Provisor's Oral Health Information Suite is designed to quickly and easily quantify your patient's risk and severity of oral diseases. The time required to use the tool varies by user, but it generally only takes a couple of minutes for the first time assessments and only seconds for subsequent assessments. To begin, visit www.provisor.com. If you don't already have a Provisor account, you can quickly and easily register for one by navigating to the Clinicians and Academics tab and clicking on Get a Free Account. If you already have an account, you can easily access the Provisor OHIS by clicking on Access the Provisor OHIS here. Then enter the username and password you created upon registration, and then you will enter your individual PIN. There are additional videos on how to create PINs for individual users on Provisor University's How to Use Provisor video section, which is accessible on Provisor.com. The default PIN for each new account, as well as accounts that have not yet set up individual PINs, is 99999. If you haven't already created the patient in your Provisor account, you can easily do that by selecting Create Patient. Go ahead and select the patient you want to assess. You can choose one of four assessments, caries, perio, oral cancer, or comprehensive. By choosing the comprehensive assessment, it will include the questions from all three of these assessments. Today, we will walk through a caries assessment. Once completed with the patient's clinical data, Provisor will quantify both risk of future caries as well as quantify current restorative needs of the patient. So let's begin. So the exam date will always default to today's date, but you can change that if you like. The prepared by field is the person that is filling out the assessment form. So here you can enter your first name, your initials, and or your credentials here. You will then choose the responsible clinician from the drop-down list, and then click Next. The next step is to answer a few questions that are related to your clinical examination of your patient. This includes information about the clinical conditions of the patient as well. Once you have provided clinical and examination data on your patient, you have a few options to customize your report. By clicking Treatment Options here, information about prevention, communication, dental visits and oral hygiene will populate on the patient's report. There are two other reports, the home care report and the clinical care plan that are still in development. When those become available, Provisor will send out our newsletter called the Quick Bite, as well as inform providers on social media about the functionality of those options. Once the data is entered, we have three options then to choose from. The first one I'd like to go over is Save for Later. If you are not done with the assessment, you can click Save for Later. This option allows you to pre-populate clinical data about the patient before the patient is sitting chairside. You can then go back into the saved assessment right here, or you can click on Unfinished Assessments and finish your assessment. If nothing has changed and you're ready to finish because everything about your patient here is true and accurate, you want to click Finish. It will not only generate the report for the patient, but if the patient has an insurance carrier that adjudicates risk-based benefits, the scores will also be sent to the insurance carrier. By clicking Finish, you are indicating that what you have entered about your patient is true, accurate, and current. So let's talk about the report. On the top heading, when you sign up for your free Provisor account, you have the option of uploading a picture of the doctor or a logo of the practice. The practice information you confirm upon creating your account will also appear here at the top. This is a great marketing opportunity for your practice and includes both your practice phone number and your website. On the right side of the report, you will see a tooth forecast, which is generated based on the clinical data entered by the clinician, and it goes anywhere from sunny to stormy with a lightning bolt. 
The CARES or tooth decay risk score shows the likelihood for future disease without interventions to prevent caries. The restorative needs score quantifies the current carious status of the patient and how little or widespread the disease currently is. And then you'll also see the treatment option piece that we had clicked to talk about prevention, communication, visiting the dentist, and oral hygiene. So what to do with the report? It's certainly recommended to share and print the report for the patient, especially if the patient shows negative progression. But the finished reports will always be saved in the patient details, so you'll always have access to go back to view the report. But what happens when the patient says to you, how can I get to be a two? I don't wanna be a five, I'd like to be a two. Well, that's where model this patient can help improve compliance and motivation of the patient. So you wanna hit back on the browser, and let's say we've had a couple of things change since the last time they came in. And now you wanna hit model this patient. And this will generate a report that looks very similar to the report that you got when you finished the assessment. So here is the modeled assessment uh, report, and it will say modeled patient and that the assessment was not recorded because again, this is purely hypothetical and a way to motivate your patient to become more compliant with the treatment that you are recommending. So again, this patient went from a risk score of five down to a two. And their restorative needs score came down as well because they had their restorative needs taken care of. And again, it will talk about certain things that the the patient will um, benefit from. So because they are hypothetical, again, they are not saved in the patient's record, nor are they submitted to insurance carriers for risk-based adjudication of benefits. Only the finished assessments are saved and submitted to insurance carriers. So what happens when you want to assess your patient when they return at a subsequent recare visit? You're going to select the carries assessment again, and it will ask you if you want to load the last assessment values. And this will save you a lot of time because truly all you have to do is change what has changed and click finish. And that truly took just a matter of seconds. So it's easy. The tool is very intuitive in terms of use. So for more information, please visit us at provisor.com. If you have a question, you can email us at help at provisor.com, or you can call our toll-free number at 888-854-0007.